Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to talk about the conditions that narcissists put on the relationships they have with you. And the trap they set within these conditions. And how to avoid such traps if at all possible. You see narcissists will start to put certain conditions you must meet in order to be with them. Once the love bombing phase has worn off. And they have run the do-do test or sweet mean cycle on you at least once. And quite possibly a few times. The narcissist in your life might say. If you were to move us to this state. Then maybe I wouldn't be so upset. Or if you quit your job and took this job. Maybe we would get along better. Or if you married me. I can give you all of my love. These are the conditions and traps the narcissist lays in order to ensnare their victim even further. This along with projection and gaslighting can drive a target to think that if they indeed do what they are being asked to do everything will be okay. Sadly to the target's surprise they become more entangled in the spider's web. Because let's say for instance. The narcissist is making it a condition you move houses. And the house you are currently living in is a house you purchased before you met this person. Usually the goal of the narcissist by making such a request is to get you uprooted from a place that is safe for you. And to put another condition upon you. That you must put them on the title of the new place. Because that's what good couples do. They know if you do this. You will be stuck. And unable to escape once they start outwardly cheating on you. I say outwardly because they are most likely still cheating on you. They are just keeping it secret at this point of the relationship. They know if you start to get wise to their games. They can have more of a leg to stand on to put you out of the house. And when the relationship dissolves they will get half the amount the property is worth even if they didn't put a dime to the cost of this home. Because narcissist knows there will be an end to the relationship. There is always an end. And they want you to set themselves up for the best robbery around by taking all you have by getting you to agree to such conditions in order to receive so-called decent treatment. And love. And the love never comes. The best example of this is. Let's say you're a kid on the play field at school. And all of a sudden a kid that never really talks to you. Comes over and says to you. If you give me your candy I will be your friend. Or if you let me ride your bike after school I will be your friend. Well if you have no friends and no option it seems to have a friend due to your circumstance at the time. A child with a weak set of boundaries might give in. Only to find out once this child making such conditions hops on your bike. He says. Thanks for the bike. I will bring it back to you next week. But he never does. And when you finally try to stand your ground. The kid may say. Someone stole the bike. And he no longer has it. And why are you complaining? Friends don't act like that. Some kind of friend you are. And again if you're a child with weak boundaries and no sense of self you might think. Maybe they are right. Maybe I shouldn't be saying anything about it. And as time goes on. You get used worse and worse. Just like when you have a relationship with a narcissist. And in the narcissist's case. They know the more you give up. The less control you will have. Remember this. No one that loves you will ask you to give up yourself and your control over your life to prove your love. No one. No one will try to force you to sell your house. Move out of state. Give them the PIN number to your debit card. Or get a joint checking account to prove how much you care. And if they do. Run. There is nothing to debate. Understand or second guess. It's an old trick of let me hold that hundred dollars. The person that is asking such a question. Is only asking because they know you have a hard time saying no. And once you hand over that hundred dollars you will never see it again. Many people have so called friends that will say. Let me hold your car for a day. Or let me hold your leather jacket. And the car comes back with dents if at all. And the leather jacket is never seen from again. Unless you are visiting your local pawn shop to find it there. These are not friends and should be avoided. And dating partners. 
husbands or wives that demand such things you must do in order for them to love you should be avoided and left as soon as you can leave them. Because the treatment will only get worse. This is important to talk about because oftentimes we forget. And can get taken by someone that we think loves us. And before we know it. We are falling for the scam. The best thing one can do as I and many others have mentioned before. Slow down time. Like dodging in the matrix. Watch the bullets fly by. Be able to see all the grooves and etchings on each bullet. And think to yourself. Heck this person is shooting at me. They aren't my friend. Or someone that cares for me. Now don't confuse this with someone saying. I would like to talk with you more. Or spend a little more time together. Talking and time spent with someone you're with is very important. And if you aren't talking to this person nor spending much time with this person. Then this might come up as. A topic of discussion. Not a demand. But if you're spending all kinds of time with this person. And they claim you're not. They are do-do testing you to see if you will stand there and argue back. Trying to prove to someone that already knows the truth. That you really do spend a lot of time with them. This arguing and you trying to prove yourself is exactly what the narcissist wants from you. And is the easiest way to get you to second guess yourself. Because the more you argue. The more they will hit you with the silent treatment. Gaslighting. And projection. And the more you talk to such a person the more of a chance you have of falling under their spell. Which will lead to your giving in to crazy demands. Hoping by meeting such demands there will be less arguing. And more good treatment. Once the narcissist has a good success or win in this area of dealing with you. All bets are off. They will start cheating openly because they will know you are stuck. And have nowhere to go. And they might escalate. The physical abuse as well. Never think you are too good to fall for this one. Because it happens to the best of us. And what's interesting to note. All the demands the narcissist is putting on you. They are unable to do themselves. And if you question it. You will get hit with more of the silent treatment. Projection. And gaslighting. The best thing to do is live by the rule of thumb. If someone asks for something in order to be nice to me. Then they are someone I don't want to be around. Also remember don't debate them. Don't talk to them about it. Just leave. If they ask you why you are leaving the relationship. Just keep it generic and say. After a lot of soul searching. You found this relationship isn't a good fit for you. And you wish them good luck in their life. If they press you. Just stick to the generic script until they give up. The reason for being generic in the situation is trying to tell them why you're leaving will give them more chance to project gaslight and get you to second guess your choices about leaving. If they try to withdraw the conditions they gave before, when they realize you're serious about leaving, leave anyway. They are only withdrawing their demands because they know they overreached. And as soon as they get you back to being with them, Soon enough the demands will come back out. They will just wait longer and until you're more softened up before they hit you with such an attack. Dealing with and detecting covert narcissist does get easier with time. But they can still be hard to spot right off the bat. Sometimes it takes a while for it to sink in the person you're with is evil and has bad intentions for you and your life. And if you gave this person six. 7 or 12 months of your life before you realized what was going on. It's okay. The main thing is you recognized what was going on and got out. Because having someone love you shouldn't cost you money or your life. And nor should demands ever be put on the love one shows to another. Love is unconditional. But at the same time. It's not unconditional if someone is hurting you. Take your time. Slow things down. And every so often relook at things the people that are in your life say and do. And if these things are no good for you. Get out. No details as to why need to be given. Just move on and away from this person. 
so you can be the best person you were meant to be. Because like I always say, knowledge and wisdom is power. The more we know, the more we can lead happy and healthy lives. Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.